Hello, and welcome to our 2017 State of the School Report. This one's entitled Big Work, and this is a work of Pines Montessori School celebrating 40 years of supporting families and children through Montessori education in Kingwood, Texas. My name is Patty Sobelman. I'm the head of school, and I'd like to introduce you to some of our big so, welcome to a conceptual drawing of the building next door, which is commonly referred to around here as the BND. This building has sat next to our school for many, 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 many years, and we were just able to purchase it and renovate it so that it could become uh, the permanent home of our middle school community and then some future work in the back end. Enjoy watching this. So this is what our campus looks like currently. We are now on nearly five acres of land. And so to orient you, in our main building, this is the space approximately uh, that our infant community um, takes. This is our six weeks to 18 months. And then these three communities here is where our toddlers live. This is our 18 months to three year olds. We have three of those classrooms. The renovation that we did to this building then enlarged three primary communities. These are our multi age three to six year olds. In this building, this is where our lower elementary students are, grades one, two, and three. This is the beginning of our second plane of development. This is our six to nine year olds. This classroom community is upper elementary. Those are our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, or our nine to 12 year olds. This is where middle school is going to move to uh, once this part of the building gets renovated. So this is the front of the BND. We'll talk about that in just a minute. The back of this building has yet to be, um, have the funds raised for yet, but we'll go over what our kind of our plans are for that. And then what is currently middle school, which will be vacated soon, will potentially become a beautiful space for our library, maybe a parent resource area, kind of a whole group room for adults. So be looking for information on that as soon as we uh, move out. So our new building, this is a beautiful conceptual drawing produced by uh, Miss Sabrina. And so this is what we purchased. And uh, this is where we want middle school to be. A lovely photo taken of the atrium from the inside looking out. So we're in the process of preparing the space. So this was our first big piece of work was to demolish it, take out all the walls, rip up all the carpet, tackle the uh, concrete, get the foundation prepared and ready to go. Um, take down all the existing HVAC and expose our beautiful ceiling. Uh, and this is where we are now. So we've poured back the foundation and we're getting ready to start hanging the new HVAC. So, along. so our goal for the space, um, to orient you, this is Cedar Knolls. This is the street that runs in front of us. And this is that main atrium. Uh, so that'll be the main entrance to the building. But we'll have a student entrance down over here that'll take them directly into the space. So as students walk through the building, they'll have a place there for a mudroom with a sink, a place for their lockers, take off their shoes. There'll be two bathrooms there for them. And then the space um, on the other end of that will be a quiet learning space. It'll have um, little quarter walls with glass going straight up. Uh, this will have a drop ceiling and this will be a space for lessons. So it could look something like this, kind of a conceptual drawing. There will be um, some wall at the bottom, but we want a nice big space for that. Their Kiva will come over. And if you're familiar with this, it's a unique seating arrangement that middle school built many years ago. It's a big carpeted space for them to hang out and it encourages Socratic dialogue. We're going to leave this space nice and open for flexible learning. They're going to have lots of tables and chairs and they can move around for collaborative work and individual work. And so maybe something that looks like this. 
then we're going to have a break area with a fridge and a sink and an eating area for them to come. And now for the back of the building. So we've yet to raise the funding for this, and that's okay. We want to kind of catch our breath here. But conceptually, this is kind of what we're coming up with. We'd like to have a tinker space. We'd like to have a place where everything that they're thinking about in their classroom could potentially be built. We'd like to insert some um, glass uh, garage doors here that could maybe open up. So if we're building a go-kart or working on bicycles, we could explore the indoor and the outdoor space seamlessly. Another quiet learning space, some more bathrooms and some storage, uh, a hallway with a mop sink. Um, and then the back of the place, we want to have nice flooring that will lend itself for some indoor PE or meetings, um, maybe some plays, a community space and then a break area with a sink. We really want the back of the building to be available to the community. And so if there's Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or an ESL class, a yoga class, a mother and me class that we want to have the back of the building available for, then certainly we can um, open this up to the community. So we're excited about the possibility. And so that brings us kind of to our Evergreen Fund. We, we um, launched this last year as a way for families and community members and family members to look at the plans that we have and be able to support us in whatever need um, they want to fulfill, in whatever way they want to fulfill. So our Evergreen Fund was uh, it has its own website. We've had some seed starter campaigns started. And so the first one was we needed to raise $42,000 to get the plans and the permitting underway. And through the generosity of many, many people and through our gala, we were able to raise the funds for that. So that fund is closed and we move on to the task. We were able to add to our Evergreen Fund page a matching gift um, donation device. And so if you're curious if your company matches your donation in any way, go on to the Evergreen Fund and get to this place. Type in your employer or company name, hit search, and it will not just tell you if your company does or does not, but if it does, it will tell you exactly who in your HR uh, to contact. And so we've had some very generous donations that were doubled through using this. So please do that. We also ran uh, through our Evergreen Fund a campaign for the students called Pennies for Pines. And this is the cylinder that is uh, in the office. And it just overflowed, certainly with other denominations other than um, But the students were just rushing to put their money in that. And so hundreds and hundreds of dollars were collected and lots and lots of joy um, and opportunities to count uh, and sort money. Uh, so we really appreciate that. And that's an on uh, event for us. One of our new projects um, that keeps unfolding gently is our kitchen. We really have a desire to have a working kitchen. Uh, this is our chef, Chef Liz, and we really want to have a commercial kitchen so that we can in the future prepare our meals on campus and really have a culinary aspect that connects our gardens to our kitchen. And so slowly, slowly we're getting some money has been raised and we were able to get, again, some conceptual drawings, these from our architects. So this is the lower elementary building and in the bottom corner, here's more of a detail, is the look for the kitchen. So we'll have three parts, two three-part sinks, uh, refrigerator, commercial stove, prep areas, um, storage areas, um, uh, pantries, and things like that. So we're getting right now what it looks like is this. If you see the different colored floor, that was because we've taken down some walls to expand it. We're looking at about 35 
uh, what, 350, yeah. sorry, 350 square foot kitchen. And so we've been acquiring some key pieces along the way. This is the most recent acquisition. This is Chef Liz standing in front of our brand new commercial grade refrigerator that was just recently donated by the uh, Rotary Club of Humble. We're very excited. This is Chef and I um, receiving a $3,000 check from our local Rotary Club to purchase this uh, refrigerator. And so we're so very grateful. And so very slowly, our kitchen will come online. And a way to make this happen faster is through our the Evergreen Fund was generously um, contrib received contributions from our gala. And so each year we have a spring gala. Last year's results topped over uh, $41,000 from community and families that attended it. And so we're very grateful for, for that. And so if you haven't come before, please do. This year is going to look a little different. Um, so for those of you that live here, you know that Harvey uh, was kind of an uninvited guest to Houston and to Kingwood in particular. And so the country club that we have had the pleasure of hosting our gala for many, many years took on significant damage and our gala cannot take place there. So this is a kind of an inspirational photo uh, to show you that we're going to move our gala to our campus this year. It's going to be a gratitude gala. It's the first time that we've ever uh, did the gala ourselves at the school. And so we're excited and we look forward to showing you our beautiful campus, the night of the gala, which this year, write it down, is uh, Saturday, May 5th. 2018. So although it lands on Cinco de Mayo, it won't be Cinco de Mayo themed, but it will be celebrating 40 years. So look. So in case that was a bit too quick, again, please mark your calendar for Saturday, May 5th, 2018, where our gala will take place at Pines Montessori School. As always, to keep up with what's happening at our school. You can do that in, a, in many different ways, one of which is visiting our website at pinesmontessori.com, to visiting our Evergreen Fund page at pinesmontessorifund.com, following us on Facebook, as well as following us on Instagram. Thank you for watching this presentation of our big work at Pines Montessori School.